Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Come along with Derek and I as we shop at Sam's Club. Can you tell it's me? Just scan as you go, it's so awesome. <laughs> you can't tell, but I'm smiling. <laughs> Okay, here's the Sam's Club haul. Surprise! Woohoo! Oh, goody! <laughs> He's actually way excited about it because he really hasn't gone into any stores during the whole quarantine and being at home. And so he wants to go. We're gonna have our masks on. We're gonna go and see what summer things they have to offer. And we're gonna grab a bunch of veggies because we are all out. And um, yeah, let's go take a look and see what Sam's Club has. Come shop with us. Derek, they have an electric smoker. So they got some igloo coolers. Those work so good. One of our coolers broke last summer. So we're down to one. Oh, these are always fun. $15 for that. Two gallons. That's really nice. Ooh, friends. 20 bucks for an insulated lunch bag. Look at all the styles and colors. That's nice. Oh, and it has a container that goes at the bottom. That's really nice. I love stuff like this. Look how nice it looks. Doesn't even look like a cooler bag. It looks like a purse. Look at all the gift cards they have. Oh my goodness. This is nice. This caught our eye. So cozy, inviting. Okay, these containers, storage containers are awesome. They're by Creative Plastic Concepts, $7.98. I think they're on sale for a dollar less at Costco right now. But we got these for our garage. Excuse and me, come on through. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. But they work really, really, really good. And then for $15, they have an even bigger one. But we got some of these and they work great. He's all about the meat. The electric smoker. I love our Traeger. This man loves to smoke up stuff. I'll try to leave some videos down below, but I'm telling you, nothing beats the smoker. Like, we can't have Thanksgiving turkey in the oven anymore. Nope. We've done bread on the smoker. Fantastic. Pizza, so good. A picnic bag for $20. What the what? We love this stuff. We're such suckers for these types of... Why don't you be my Vanna and show me what it does. It opens and you put stuff in it. No way. And it comes with one of these. Okay, our Vanna here is going to show us the, the gray one because I really like the, that one. It's stylish. Oh, look at the big strap. you got to show that it has a nice, big, cozy strap that won't hurt you. Oh, it comes with a container. It's just an empty space with a big container in it. Okay. It's just a bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, open. Okay, but it comes with a deep pocket here. Insulated. And a deep po yeah, insulated here. You guys, I think this would be great if you had babies and little ones and you're out and about with all their food. I like that. This man is so into air fryers. I did end up getting him one for Father's Day, and we've been using it, and it's been really good. And I love it. Yeah. The Vortex air fryer. <laughs> that's, a, that's a manly air fryer, Derek. So, there's no one around us. So, yesterday we went out as a family and got sushi and um, like the tempura vegetables with it's shrimp. It's bigger. It's bigger? Yeah, it's got a bigger. And we brought the tempura vegetables home, and then we, of course, eat, how do you reheat those unless you throw them under the broiler, but they never come out right. We threw it in our air fryer, and they came out crispy and yummy. They were better than when we got them. It, they really were. They were so good. So, it's good for the, like, the leftover things like that that you'll just end up throwing away. So, yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Back to no one knowing who I am. Okay, friends, so for $229.98, they have this freezer from Thompson, and it's just tall, thin. If you're looking for something, you know, that's not going to take up a lot of room, that you could put some freezer meals in. We're actually, we're looking at another little freezer, 
We are gonna seriously do some looking up on this one. It's 6.5 cubic feet. We're gonna do some research because um, our freezer is, it gets full. And then when it's too full, it will start thawing out on us. So we are in the market for another freezer and they have chest freezers here too. But this one caught my eye because of how thin it is and how it won't take up a whole lot of space. So I'll find out more and let you know what I think. Oh, all the good stuff. Look at those done for donuts. No, nope, we're just gonna say no. We're just gonna keep going. Oh my word. Oh, I love English muffins. I'm a sucker for a good English muffin with melted butter on it or cream cheese or peanut butter. What do you guys like to have on your English muffins? But oh my gosh. And we, we get the bubble ones a lot. I've shared that with you. Um, they're $1.98 and the Thomas is $3.48. But honestly, you guys, I don't, there's not a big difference between them. Just toast them up good. There's some butter on there. Yum. What you got? Some French baguette. Baguettes. What would you do with it? Nicely sliced. Nice and crispy. A little oil and tomato and herbs. You and are bruschetta? Bruschetta. Yum. Bruschetta is one of Derek and I's favorite things just to eat when we don't know what to eat, like for dinner. We'll just slice up some baguettes like this, put them on the stove in a pan, in some olive oil and crisp them up, and then we'll take a garlic clove and rub that garlic clove all over the bread, and then we add our sliced tomatoes, and those tomatoes have been drizzled in a little bit of salt, basil, and balsamic vinegar with a little bit of olive oil too on it. <laughs> Yum, how many times have we had that just for dinner? So many, so good. Oh, sounds so good right now. Anywho. Mmm, fresh cod. Look at that, cod. Oh, I love cod, I grew up on it. So good, so, so good. Oh, and salmon. But I have some frozen cod and salmon in my freezer that I'm gonna be using up this week. But I, it's hard to resist good non-frozen cod. Uh, yes please. Some bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers stuffed with cream cheese. Oh, that's a good time right there. Seven bucks. They have the chicken breast for $1.98 a pound. And something that they haven't had for a while is the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I grabbed myself one because all they've had for a very long time was skin on, bone in. So yay, for two twenty-eight a pound. Okay, so we're already starting to shop and we gotta use our app, because it's the best. So you download the app, they have what's called the scan and go. So now we can scan our items. Costco needs to start doing this, seriously. So then you just tally up your order and then you can pay. You don't even have to go up to the belt undo all this and then put it back in uh -uh. so but this time if you guys remember from my last Sam's Club haul I didn't um, I got a glitch when I went outside the app and some things were taken off my list my goal is not to jump out of the app so nothing gets thrown out of my cart so just scan as you go it's so awesome Hopefully there won't be any bumps in the road. And now you know. I would love another stock pot, so I'm gonna put that on my Christmas wish list for Derek. For all my American friends, do you, are you guys, what are you doing to celebrate the 4th? What are you doing for food? I think we're just gonna do burgers and dogs this year. Maybe some corn on the cob. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna wait to get these. We have just a few left, but we're in no rush, but my kids love the Nature's Bakery fig bars. Oh, they're really, really good. I love how their snack aisle has so many more choices than Costco. And if you guys remember from my last Sam's Club haul, I got the Snapped uh, by Cheez-It. Very good. Super, super yummy. Oh my gosh, white cheddar Cheez-Its. Couldn't get enough of them when I was pregnant with, I think, Callie. Oh my goodness. So the request this time was goldfish. My kids just can't get enough. Oh, fireworks. We love our fireworks for the 4th of July. We'll be doing a, a pickup, but I don't know from here 
But Derek can't help himself when it comes to fireworks. Nope. For all you new friends, Derek, his birthday is the 4th of July. He's a bicentennial boy. Isn't that amazing? I know. You're lucky, you always get a big party on your birthday. Fireworks and parades. All for me. All for you. All right, we're just sanitizing. I sanitized myself. We're so nice just to have the lady like scan our phone after we were done paying. Just skip the whole belt. Seriously, every <sighs> store should do that. Oh, the alcohol in my cut. Ah! <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so between all these halls, we are good until we move. Have you told them we're moving? Surprise! Our um, contract for this house we're renting is up. We're Eric. really doing it because we just can't wait to pack everything up again. You are right, you are so I right. just love moving my stuff. It was so fun the so first much time. Fun. So with these halls, I think we're gonna be good. All we need to go back is like to go back and get vegetables and stuff because um, we eat a lot of veggies. So we should be good and for until we move. We move at the end of July and we're super excited about it. The kids are thrilled about it. And um, yeah, we are, the reason we're moving is we want to put money away. We're trying to save some money and we well, are, figure out where we're going. Mm -hmm. we're, we want to purchase land. If we can find a place that has a couple of acres with a house that we already like on it, great. great. Um, if not, we are, we're looking for land either in Utah or South Carolina. But we kinda, I don't know. Like, I, my heart is like, uh, 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 uh. what do we do? Because our daughter's now married and I don't wanna move too far from her and babies. I remember when we were first having our kids and throughout our whole marriage, our kids haven't been near my parents and it's been so hard. So we're just listening to what Heavenly Father is telling us to do. And he hasn't stirred us wrong once with this whole move this last year. Nope. Nope. So prayers have been answered for us and we are moving. We're actually moving in with Derek's parents. They have an apartment, separate entrance. That's freeing up. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's getting always... freed up by the end of the month. Has three bedrooms, huge, huge pantry, bigger than ours, you guys. Like, seriously big. We still get to have a food room. Um, the kitchen is smaller, but the pantry makes up for it. And there's a closet in the kitchen. Totally makes up for it. We're so excited. We're so thankful and feel just so, we just so appreciate Derek's parents for offering it to us while we figure out where We're we want to going and where we want to look for land. And because there's places way up north from us that we like and there's places way down south from us that we like. And, and across the country. And across the, yes, we've already scoped out South Carolina. We already know the two towns that we'd like to be in. We actually know the one neighborhood that we want to be in. So yes, we are moving at the end of the month and the family is so happy. There's so many more pluses to this than negatives, seriously. So we are thrilled and we get to do it all over again. <laughs> and we get to get rid of more stuff. We do, we really do. In fact, there was boxes that we hadn't even unpacked. So we have been going through those and donating um, some things out of there. So we're thrilled, the kids are thrilled. In fact, we when we were moving the first time, we were looking for rentals in that area, but there was none available. So we are exactly where we want to be. And we are so thankful and just, our hearts are full. We're, we just keep listening and prayers have been answered. So, yeah. His family's off for another adventure. All right, that's the big announcement. <laughs> and stay tuned for a moving video. I know a lot of you have asked lately, which is so funny, saying, can you do a video on moving tips? And I was like, uh-huh. So, did I say a movie? A video. I have no idea what you what said. What did I just say? But anyway, a video for moving tips is coming up. So, yay, 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 stay tuned. Okay, here's the Sam's Club haul. Let's get to it. So, we grabbed two packages of hot dog buns. There are 16 count in each. This will be also for the 4th of July. Um, with that, we did get their just normal hot dogs, not the beef ones. 
um these were probably about five or six dollars cheaper um to cook up for, on the fourth for everybody and um, they come in two big packages like this i already opened up some because i'm heating up some for the the kids there and i opened up a can of beans that's what they wanted after they saw what we had they were like can we have hot dogs and beans for dinner and i'm like sure so that's what they're doing and along with that we needed more ketchup so they're three pack of ketchup yeah we were all out down in our food rooms all right so also to have are the gif to go um cups yes you're saving money when you are using the regular peanut butter out of the jar but we do a lot of on the go things during the summer and it's just nice to have these ready to go for the kids they love um dipping with these so and then lettuce we'll be using some on uh, the burgers for the fourth and for our salads and things so this time mama Ann grabbed some wings so we're going to be grilling up these i think he also wants to try a few in his air fryer and see how they go and then i grabbed which i shared with you guys the boneless skinless chicken thighs i'll be making some meals out of those ham sliced ham for sandwiches we were all out and the kids have been craving sandwiches and I did grab four loaves of bread today is Saturday tomorrow is Sunday when I bake bread but tomorrow I'm not gonna be baking bread tomorrow so I grabbed some bread and also I needed bread for my eggplant sandwiches I do have a video on that I'll link it below and I like using store-bought bread for that Derek grabbed some snack sticks beef sausage sticks Harvardi and Gouda snack cheeses love this 12 of each yum yum oh my favorite vegetable medley is with the broccoli the cauliflower and the carrots um, i love sauteing those up or in the microwave with this seasoning that i got from a, a store not too far from us their vegetable seasoning it is so good with it so yes so we're going to be having that in our dinner plans for the next two weeks um yes you just saw me buy cucumbers from Walmart, but that was literally almost a week ago when I filmed that, and they're gone. So, grab more from Sam's. All right, and some green peppers. And then, of course, the Black Label fully cooked original bacon. It's just easy to have in the morning when Derek wakes up, has breakfast. It's just so much easier, but we did grab the regular bacon. We just ran out and we keep them in our freezer and when we need them we grab them and go with it So we like to have both on hand um, And this is so nice when you are going on to trips if like if you're going to the lake um, And like we love going to Bear Lake or if you've got a, a camping trip or something planned. It's already done easy easy And we're gonna try this these out. So Derek's super excited the bacon wrapped jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese yum asparagus gotta love asparagus um Derek grabbed the sugar-free barbecue hickory flavored barbecue sauce um this is really good actually um I don't mind it at all so he likes this is what he's been using now and we're slowly um moving to so holy guacamole mini cups love these love 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 these I love dipping them with vegetables crackers um, having it on the side with my eggs I've been noticing I've been getting a really weird allergic reaction to avocados and with the guacamole I, I don't so I don't know what it is ever since I got my braces I'm starting to my mouth feels funny um, with avocado is that is that ever happened to any of you all right I am out of miracle whip so grab two of those uh, chicken broth we were out of the big containers and we're down to our last few cans so we needed more of that and their snack choice was goldfish as you saw so they were super excited to see that and milk that weird container <laughs> so a gallon of milk and then uh, grabbed onions because we we're down to our last three I believe and a bag of skinny pop we are all set until the end of July like I said if we need to go back out for milk our eggs uh, or some veggies we will but our freezer is stocked I have a few freezer meals in there that we're gonna use again during the move 
um, and I'll be prepping some more. That way things could go straight into the oven or straight into the slow cooker while we are packing and getting everything ready for the move. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're doing good. Have a great holiday weekend, and we will see you soon. Bye. Toodles.